Wow, that was the go-home show to Raw. I really don't know what to say about this, guys. I really don't. This just didn't feel like a go-home show at all. It felt long, dragged out to where I'm like, good gravy, when is this going to be over? Like, I never expected anything like this. Actually, what am I saying? Raw has not really been good. They have had their moments starting off. Good grief. They've had one of the best Raws ever the first time they started off after the brand split. And then it just kind of went downhill from there. I don't know what happened. In my opinion, it's because the, the entire roster is just too stacked. But And they're trying to find a way to actually fit everybody in there. And it's just not working. It's not working at all. The messed up part about this whole thing is that you got the Cruiserweights that's supposed to be debuting tonight. And I was, I'm not going to lie. The Cruiserweights were the highlight of the entire show. Which is sad. Because you have three hours to fill, not to mention a pay-per-view to promote. And there have been absolutely no recaps at all. We barely know what's on the card. And somehow, some of these matches kind of just got thrown up there at the last minute, in my opinion. They usually have... They usually have... Um, pay-per-view recaps during these Raws or during SmackDowns if this is a go-home show. They always do recaps. You barely saw a recap. But, the, of course, the highlight of the night definitely was the Cruiserweights. I enjoyed it. And the fact that Brian Kendry actually won, I'm excited. It'll be the veteran versus the newbie. I'm in, I'm gonna, And also, you see old school, uh, old school style heel work versus... The modern day, you know, the modern day wrestler. I guess is how you can probably promote it. But other than that, it's going to be a fantastic match. I look forward to seeing that. I think it's going to be great. But Rick Swan, as well as uh, Cedric Alexander, highly impressed me. Those are the two fastest men I have ever seen. They're faster than Grand Metallic. I never thought that that could ever be possible. That somebody could be faster than a luchador. But they were faster than him. And seeing those two go at it, I want to see him. I want to see Rich, Rich Swan with Cedric Alexander and Grand Metallic in a triple threat match. I want to see that happen. Seriously. It will be amazing. I want to see that happen. Usually the women's division always saves it for me. But good gravy. They couldn't even save it tonight. They, they really couldn't. It, it, oh, oy. But other than that, I, I, when are we going to freaking see Triple H? Like, seriously, it made zero sense what Triple H did on Raw. It, 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 none. Because we got no explanation on, what, on why he did what he did. Having him come out there, it would have been nice to actually hear him say something after that Raw. We haven't seen him since the Cruiserweight Classic. And that was live the ending the the last one that was the last time we saw him we didn't see him out there after he did what he did and that was the highlight of that raw when you actually saw him come out and literally screw two of his proteges well one protege and then one guy you know they're, they're both they're both uh they're both levette guys come on that's what they are they're both triple h's guys but other than that, we have heard absolutely no response from the guy. It's just, ugh. But honestly, if he came out when I shut, shut off that TV, I stand corrected. But at this point, this really wasn't a good Raw at all. This is going to be probably the shortest review I have ever done because there's really nothing worth talking about except for the Cruiserweights. I'm happy the Cruiserweights on Raw, they have a chance to actually get noticed a little bit more and they're on the A show, which they should be. But if but the one thing that kind of puzzles me is that I thought that Jack Gallagher actually did get signed. But I didn't see Jack Gallagher out there at all. So I'm wondering whether or not SmackDown is going to really have their own um, Cruiserweight division. But that will be interesting. But other than that, that can't really happen because Raw got the Cruiserweight belt. I don't know what's going to happen, y'all. But I thought Jack Gallagher got signed. If anybody knows what happened to Jack Gallagher, let me know. Like, leave it in the comments. But other than, other than that, guys, here's my personal thoughts. This Raw was not that good. It did nothing in promoting their pay-per-view. Shoot, I even forgot the Clash of Champions were even going to be this Sunday. There was no um, recap for the pay-per-view to know exactly what was on the car and what to look out for. 
there was really no motivation to even see some of these matches because you didn't even know what matches were on the card, as well as having the cruiserweight champ, uh, the cruiserweight division not in the show. You got the tr you got the steel cage match ending the show with two people that nobody really cares about. Well, except for Kevin Owens, people care about Kevin Owens, but not so much about Roman Reigns. But other than that. This match should, that match should not have ended the show. It should have been the cruiserweight division that should have ended the show. And it should have had Brian Kendrick being the guy triumphant at the very end of the show. I'm just saying it right there. But other than that, guys, what are your thoughts about this Raw? Leave a comment in the comments section below. Let me know how you feel about this. Because honestly, this was draining. It really was. But other than that, I'm done. Peace out. I'll see y'all later.